And uh, gradually, Arthur then began giving me a, a repertoire. And so I, I began to get singing things that really boys had never sung. Um, and, and away from the and cathedral repertoire. Away from the cathedral repertoire. And also I, I began to develop a voice that was really more of a soprano than a boy treble. Who stopped? And I had to leave the cathedral choir. It was the dean of the cathedral, Dean Elliot, who couldn't stand my not being there, and got feisty about, well, this boy is always off singing in a concert somewhere, always doing this, always doing that. He's not a choir boy anymore. And so he said to CJ that, that he'd have to let me go. And CJ didn't want me to go, but I did have to go. And that's when I really then became um, the boy soprano of Belfast. One night around the thorn tree the little people play And men and women passing will turn their heads away From break of dawn till moon rise alone it stands on high With twisted sprigs for branches across the winter sky They'll tell you dead men hung there As I had so many people wanting me to do concerts and go around, sing here and sing there. And in those days, I mean, there wasn't the entertainment that you get today, no television or anything of that sort. And so concerts were very popular. Um, and we had, I was very lucky because I, in, in, in Belfast at that time, there had been a tenor called James Johnson who sang for Sadler's World, lovely voice, and a lovely man. And he heard about me, and he said, well, we must do concerts together. And so we did. James Johnson and Billy Neely, two of the four. Yeah, that was Wonderful. great. And so through him, um, I went on, and someone, I don't know who it was or when it was, said that um, they, they, they'd heard about me, and would I be interested in singing in England? And of course, to a young boy, England, dear God, I mean, the adventure. Getting on an aeroplane, terrifying. And so I came to England and did a concert for, um, no one will have ever heard of them, but they were called the Palm Court Orchestra. And they had a, a venue which was very close to uh, HMV record studios. And uh, that was where I gave my very first little concert singing with the Palm Court Orchestra. But, strangely enough, there was a, a person there who actually worked for the head of HMV, a man called Victor Kahn. And she went back and told Victor Kahn that she'd heard me. And would I be interested in I would, would he be interested in listening to me? So I got a call from Victor Kahn saying, would I like to come in addition for HMV, which I did. But prior to that, someone else had heard me sing and they had decided they wanted me for Decca Records. So from being a little uh, nobody out of Belfast, I was a boy soprano in London, being sought after by Decca Records and HMV.